Hello there and welcome to Friday afternoon. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay, you know the usual stuff. So what we're going to do today is make sure um, that I cover everything I look for in social media monitoring management tools, like just the quick list, and then show you the free ones and then a little bit, just a glimpse of how I've set them up behind the scenes. The reason that I'm, I want to do them um, that way is because if I actually go into each tool and show it like really completely how I've set it up, I just think it's going to get way too, this whole video is going to be way too long. As it was, I found about 40 or 50 free tools that cover lots of different aspects of social media management and I thought, well, maybe it would be a good idea if I um, just focused on a few of them. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, it's called Wine O'Clock because it's Friday and I wanted to make sure that I um, sort of had a fairly relaxed view of everything and then I realized it wasn't such a good idea. And the reason why it's not a good idea is because I'm not a very good drunk. So half a glass of wine and I fall asleep so hopefully you don't fall asleep but if you haven't got a glass of wine or a cold drink or something relaxing for a Friday afternoon maybe go get one now all right so the first thing we're going to do is switch to this one and I want to just talk a little bit about the inbuilt tools to make sure you know about them. The first one is um, Creator Studio. Just a moment. I just realized I left something on that shouldn't be on. Um, Creator Studio, which has just been renamed as Business Suite, I think, if you download the Creator Studio app, is it still called that? Might or might not be. And, oh no, it's still called Creator Studio. But what you can do here is you can use this as a social media management tool for both your Instagram and your Facebook. You can upload content, schedule content, um, check your analytics and everything within Creator Studio and Business Suite. So this is just a little play page that I have. And I've shown you this before, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on it, but it's free tools. And I said that we would cover free tools. And I thought, well, having a built in Instagram management tool is a good idea. <laughs> so um, let's use the built in one. And I do want to point out that Twitter also has a built in tool. A lot of people don't know they can schedule tweets from within Twitter, but you have to go to the ad management tool, which is called ads.twitter.com while we do this I'm just going to check something right no comments coming through that's good and you have to write a couple of letters and then select the photo select the video do a card or a poll and then you can choose to schedule schedule here so one of the first things that we're looking for in a free social media management tool or even a paid one is that ability to create lots of outbound content, distributed content, and then schedule it. So I put that on the list and it's what a lot of people think of when they think of a social media management tool. They're either watching inbound content that's directly on their channels like not so much the top 150 bloggers in the industry, but very much if people have commented on their hashtag on Twitter or Instagram. So that's inbound and then outbound is the scheduling thing. So they're two kind of built in ones. They're free and they're available to you right now. For inbound content, I use Feedly. And one of the reasons why I'm doing this video, oh look, somebody, messaged me and they what they asked me was um, we can't monitor Facebook pages that we don't own so for instance competitor pages when using Hootsuite anymore do you know of any tools are they free tools 
And that got me thinking that I need to spend a Friday afternoon, and I've forgotten to have a sip <laughs> of wine, um, we need to spend a Friday afternoon just having a bit of a poke around because a lot of the tools I used to say, oh, they have a free version, they have a free version. I turn them off. So we're going to have a look. I don't know about this wine on a Friday afternoon thing. Used to love it. Used to go out with the people from work. Had a few unpleasant experiences because I had a few wines, like I was just partying. And then for many years, went out still with them, but didn't drink at all. Um, lemon, lime and bitters, I think, is what I used to drink. And what's Zoom without a drink, though? Let's face it. <laughs> or maybe people don't Zoom and drink. That should be a catch cry. Instead of don't drink and drive or don't tweet and drink, um, don't Zoom and drink. I'm gobbling on. Anyway, so Feedly is a tool that I use. And what I can do here is put in all of the YouTubers that I want to watch and see what they're doing on YouTube, the top YouTubers or whatever they are. And it brings me in a nice long feed of all YouTube videos. And I should probably share that. Oh, guys, you've got to remind me when I'm not, when I haven't done the vision switching. Beginner error, rookie error. I'm going to blame the wine. I've had literally half a mouthful, but I'm going to blame the wine. So I like Feedly and if I go to this tab and we have a look at Feedly, I think I pay either $6 a month or $8.25 a month. But they have a free version for three news feeds and 100 sources. So if you just want to manage like 20 Facebook pages and um, like not yours but other other companies competitors or joint venture partners or something like that you want to bring them in some twitter stuff some blogs some newspapers whatever and it's less than a hundred and you only want three folders here what they call three feeds then the free version is available for you see i said i would find some free stuff for you how good of me i'm going to celebrate by having another tiny mouthful How do you talk and sip wine? I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think I'm going to do this again. But let's keep going. Uh, for those of you that are joining us, I'm running through the free social media management tools for 2020 that I've been able to find. I'm specifically looking for full free versions, not free, not, um, free trials. I have been unable to find a free trial that is for three months and functionally you cannot determine the impact your social media management tools are having on the newsfeed algorithm until a minimum of 28 days. That's um, the algorithm newsfeed developers call that the MAU, the monthly active user. And so you won't know the impact that your change in tools is having until 28 days. And usually it's another month after that. And then I give myself another two to four weeks grace if I'm working with clients in evaluating an impact. And there's all kinds of things that impact. And I should probably go back to the space for this. Let's talk about politics within the Facebook and Twitter space. They all have a program, I think Facebook calls theirs developer there's the developer program and then there's the marketing partners. And if you're not approved as a marketing partner, you will be damaged in the newsfeed because they'll give the Hootsuites and the whatever other tools are out there that they've identified and have put through a fairly strict development program. I need a straw and then I can quickly sip some and keep talking. Um, developer program and they put the company through the ringer as far as making sure they're verified and approved as marketing partners. So if you're considering a social media management tool, whether it's free or paid, I do recommend that you look up marketing partners or development partners 
and choose one from that list because there's a lot of free tools, startup tools. I like to buy all the little janky tools on AppSumo for 40 bucks for lifetime deals because why not? Fun, see what's going on. Um, but yeah, we let's keep going. But try and find one that's approved. So with Feedly, and I have shown this before, but I can bring in, for instance, Facebook page RSS feeds. That's what it's called, really simple syndication. And if I click on the Facebook developer Facebook page, I've brought the Facebook page in here and introducing, oh, it's five months ago, 14 days ago. If I go to it, it'll actually take me to the Facebook. Sorry, this one's a Facebook post. So the actual page ones are, I think this is one, this is a page. So this was three hours ago. Photos from Facebook apps post. Facebook had RSS feeds turned on on Facebook and then they turned them off. And I think they have them on a few special Facebook pages, but what you actually have to use is another free tool called Fetch RSS. And you put the Facebook page URL in here, like facebook.com slash Coca-Cola. And then you log in. I think you're allowed to have five or 20 or something for free. Um, and they'll give you the RSS feed, which you then copy and paste into Feedly. If you're used to f RSS readers, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, I've got a video on YouTube. You can go and look it up. I think it's called How to Monitor Facebook Competitor Pages. It's on my channel. Go and have a look at that one. Right, let's keep moving. Oh, I do need to check. Has anybody said anything? Nope. Please leave me a comment. Let me know you're hearing this. I can see that people are watching, but you're all being very quiet. Maybe you're just drinking. Um, wine o'clock. What a brilliant idea, Laurel. As in, not really. Is this a bit funny? I'm having problems. I've got a green screen, and then I, of course, I decided to wear a mustardy green top. Not again. I'm blaming the wine. Let's keep going. So we looked at um, RSS feeds and I just want to check on my Feedly plan. You get a hundred and then three. Ah, oh, okay. Now we're going on to Hootsuite. So Hootsuite has a lot more features than anything else I've shown you at the moment. Feedly is great for managing the crisis comms aspect and that's one of the things you want on your list as well and it also allows you to choose things and then share them you can schedule them through buffer app or hootsuite or you can send them directly to linkedin if you're watching this on a mobile phone let me just make that a little bit bigger for you and then you can add in other options down here i haven't added them all i've just added a few of them but send it to facebook hootsuite and LinkedIn. Once you actually get to a Hootsuite or Buffer app, both of which I've been members of for, I don't know, how long they've been around for? 10 years? Probably not, probably six or seven years. Um, I can bring in, and I've got a section, a feed called mine, and I bring in people who mention me on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, and so on. I can also add in hashtags. I've got another stream called hashtags. I've put in Ozpol, Ozlaw, uh, Spitbucket, which by the way, I think is where I originally got this idea from because Spitbucket was on Tuesday nights and everybody in the wine community, um, somebody would choose three wines and people would go out and buy them. And then everybody would sit at home and try the wine and get trashy pants hashtag trashy pants i think it was um sip spit tweet i'm not sure how many people spat but never mind so i create all my feeds and i pull in hashtags 
I can add different social networks, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and so on. Um, just got my little trusty post-it note here because I wanted to mention a few things. Hootsuite also has Teams. So if you have one Twitter account, let's go to the actual screen. If you have one Twitter ac account, but you want to take one tweet and give it to the engineering department, and you want to take another tweet and give that to HR and recruitment, and another tweet and give it to billing and have them respond without giving everybody the password to Twitter, that's what um, Hootsuite does. You give everybody a Hootsuite account, they get access to the, tw the one Twitter account, but the customer just sees it as coming from the company. But you can do a lot of queue management and CRM, customer relationship management, and things like that with Hootsuite. So Hootsuite also brings in analytics. Um, I don't remember them offering much more in the way of analytics than a straight API pool from the platforms themselves. If you know, let me know. I don't use Hootsuite because I don't like this toilet roll thing that happens where you just have to scroll and scroll and scroll. It just doesn't appeal to me, which is interesting because I'm actually what's called a text story type. The algorithm identifies as a text story type. And typically I like text and I'm used to scanning text. But for some reason, Hootsuite's layout just feels so old fashioned now. Do you think it looks old-fashioned? How many of you use Hootsuite and think it looks old-fashioned? But you know what? For free, we're not going to complain. And so there is a free plan on Hootsuite. Some of these you have to look for, and that's why I want to show them to you. You can have three social profiles, and that would mean a Facebook page, a LinkedIn, whatever, a Twitter account, and that's it. I don't believe it means your Facebook profile and three Facebook pages and 10 Facebook groups because it's actually calling them profiles, but I believe it means channels. I paid for Hootsuite for about six years and I thought it was worth it and then the prices went up and up. I think I was grandfathered in and then I just cancelled it. I was done. You can schedule up to 30 messages from memory we've paid or the basic payment one I got 500 messages oh unlimited now but look $39 Australian a month what's that in US I don't know don't ask me everything's like this at the moment that calls for another sip of wine <laughs> And only one user. So this is not for you and the intern or you and a virtual assistant. You and the virtual assistant would have to share the one account. But I am a big believer, always try things for free. Once you've tried them for free and you say, oh, I wish it would do this, then you can look around for a tool that you have to pay for and if the tool you're currently using doesn't do that thing, then you can look for another one. And at least you know that's something that you thought of, yeah, I want that. Otherwise, I see people coming in and they're paying a lot of money a month. And $169 a month is not a lot. But when you're a social media manager, I me, and every client <laughs> is using a different tool, trust me, it ends up costing you your month mortgage. <laughs> so... Try not to have a hundred different accounts. Try and guide your clients to a few. Like as an example, I try to get my clients off of Sprout Social and onto something else, either the same price but better quality or a cheaper price and the same quality. That's just how I feel about Sprout Social. I haven't looked at it for a year and a half, but it was working with a lot of government organizations that were and just... Let's keep moving. Buffer app. Um, this happens a lot, which is why you need to keep your eye on everything. And I strongly recommend in Feedly that you create a, one of your three free feeds. 
is for all the social media monitoring tools, their blogs, their Facebook pages, their Twitter accounts, bring all that stuff in. In fact, I think I have one. Let me go to it. Right after I have another sip of wine, this is not going to end well. Can somebody bring me some crackers and cheese? Although I am feeling a little bit more confident. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I need to check because I can't see. Nobody's asking me any questions. There you go. All right. So what am I doing here? Um, I think I have something called vendors. Ah, oh, here we go. So I created a feed and I bring in buffer resources. I bring in all the Facebook things. I bring in the LinkedIn blog, Snapchat blog, Pinterest blog. Sorry, I'm banging things. And I can do a quick scan. And that's part of what I do when I do our social media news. I do a quick scan here just to see if there's anything that takes my interest or that I want to delve into a bit deeper and this that means that when you you don't get a shock when suddenly your tool that you've been using to schedule Instagram has been turned off so my question to you is do you think that Facebook create a studio Facebook business suite whatever they eventually rebrand it is Facebook owning Instagram and Facebook allowing you to schedule Instagram through those, do you think that they're now in competition with Buffer? I discussed this a little bit uh, Monday's video, if you want to have a look. can't imagine why you would, but there you go. And it's dangerous because Twitter was taken to court by third party developers and lost their case. If this can be connected directly to, um, we call it cannibalism or cannibalization, cannibalism. Cannibalism I think is for eating humans. Cannibalization I think is the technical term. Who knows? That calls for another drink. <laughs> All right. If they're cannibalizing their development community, their ecosystem, people are just simply going to stop developing for Facebook and Twitter. We've already seen that with third party apps. Facebook was in a position to develop an app store that would give them the kind of revenue that the Apple App Store gets and they decided to ditch it. And if they ditch their development network, their marketing partners and all the rest of it and they only allow a couple in, it's going to become, well, it could become problematic. Not while they dominate, but later on when they don't. And, you know, who wants IGTV, what's their new thing called? When you can have TikTok. So Buffer app, how much was Buffer app? I think it's their free one was... I think it's hard to find some of this pricing and I did set some of them up and some of them I didn't. That's a free trial pricing. I'm pretty sure I'm on a free plan. Oh, there you go. At the end of your trial, you may downgrade to our free basic plan Three social accounts, 10 scheduled posts, one user. What was Hootsuite's? Three social accounts, 30 scheduled messages, one user. Okay. So Hootsuite gives you 20 more. Now Hootsuite tries to dominate the SMB market. It's at that sort of level. I'm sure they have a, a diffusion brand that is looking after bigger companies, but they probably aren't playing at the same level that the Salesforce Marketing Cloud $40,000 a month 
accounts are. Anyway, um, I want to just build on the list a little bit more. So you can have Teams scheduling and social accounts. The Teams are the number of users. The social accounts are the number of channels, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, whatever. I'm also interested in whether they bring in analytics, scheduling, content scheduling, content um, monitoring, which Feedly with Fetch RSS does in spades, but I haven't found another platform that does it that way. Especially creating those RSS feeds and pulling them in. I mean, there are competitors to those platforms, but um hashtags which was i think i showed you hootsuite segmentation of audiences and also ai artificial intelligence there are some free tools that do this but let's just go on for a moment i want to show you two kind of similar ones asana and also airtable these both i believe have free accounts and we're going to have a look at that in a moment and the built-in one my pen out of the way it's annoying me um this is this isn't one i created this is one that that uh air table give you that is built in so you can mark your content type under what category it falls under for instance accessories or design styles for fashion you can choose the channel, for instance, Instagram and Facebook, and then you can create a funnel, uh, kind of a funnel, which says it's at the brainstorm stage. What do you call that? It's like a Kanban. Oh, this is where alcohol helps or hinders. Not sure. I'm not convinced about this wine o'clock. Please let me know if you think I should be drinking wine this early. On a Friday afternoon while presenting live to strangers. Actually, I know who's watching and it's all friends. But anyway. <laughs> so you can set up um, Zapier like API webhooks that says when your post moves from brainstorm into published, that the webhook is kind of polled every so often. They go and get it, and then they publish it to whatever channels you've marked here. So you can schedule this to become published, and then you can have it go to Instagram and Facebook. It's not built into Airtable, and uh, there's the Asana one. And you you can make it pretty. This that much of a muchness you can add images and categories and stuff I just wanted to give you two tools rather than one um, and they're all Kanban this is Kanban that's Kanban it's a content calendar creation calendar if you really want to go old school just use Google Calendar create your calendars down here create an analytics calendar a content calendar an engagement calendar Influencer calendar, in-house calendar and a promotions calendar. Color code them so you can see at a glance what's going on. And, you know, that works just as well for planning. But these you can connect to like a Zapier or if this then that. Let's see what the prices are of these. I'm pretty sure I found free ones. See what happens when I drink wine? Oh, you guys, it's, you're terrible. I don't drink very often and I tend to get very, very sleepy very quickly and very red in the face. Okay, this is the last, first and last wine o'clock from me. So we've got on a sauna basic up to 15 teammates so if you want to plan all your projects and your content projects and your engagement projects and your influencer projects you can use this you do get bored or canyon kanban same thing right i'm getting confused now oh and they're um they're a framework so 
they allow for third party apps and developer apps to be added, which means you could go and hire an app, develop, a, t develop an app, presumably. Unlimited projects, unlimited activity, unlimited file storage, probably not enough for video, but you can use something else for that. Hmm. Anyway, that's free. That's not bad. And that was for Asana. Which one was Asana? It's this one. And I'm sorry it's not pretty, but I think I deleted the pretty one. They can be made to look identical to this one. So this one's Airtable. Let's see what you get for Airtable for free. I just want to see if anybody's... No chats. That's okay. Either that or I haven't set it up properly. I probably haven't set it up properly. Airtable. Pricing. Let me just see what they've got here first. Right. Let me go to pricing. So free. Oh, this thing where they don't keep things the same name. I think bases is workspaces or projects. <laughs> and then you're allowed 1,200 records per base. I never liked this. Um, I've tried, I think Trello does the same thing, similar product. And Notion, Nodio, Notion, one of those did the same thing and I was planning out just me I was planning out my courses and every tiny little record um, lecture title or a quick note about a tutorial was a record and then I ran out of my 1200 or whatever it was records very quickly and so I didn't really get a chance to set it up and test it the way I wanted to um, I mean I believe in fair value for fair money but You've got to be able to at least set it up and then test it before you decide. You know, sometimes I jump immediately to the highest package, but I'm not going to do that if I can't test it. 100 run history, two weeks, runs per month. 100 runs per month. So if you've got 100 posts and you need them to be something to happen to them, it'll run those automations for you. But if you've got more than 100, you're probably in trouble. Anyway, you can go and have a look at that one. So Airtable was this one, creating your content calendars. What else have I got here? Oh, right, okay. Um, let's just go on a little bit further. So... Promo Republic. <sighs> Why did I? Oh, I know. I bought the lifetime deal on this one. And I wanted to show it to you because they recommend content for you to reshare. So I don't know if you know, but the algorithms tend to penalize you if you do me, me, me media. One of the reasons BuzzFeed was so popular so early is because none of it was their own content. They shared whatever was memeing out there, whatever was popular. So if I go to automotive or marketing or one of the other sections, it will try and use an, I believe an AI, artificial intelligence, to collate and curate content that I could then select and send. So as well as an editor where you can create your content and post it, and a calendar where you can see what's coming up and your analytics, your statistics and your insights. Promo Republic also has this additional um, what's popular in popular hashtags, for instance. I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? Oh, you can't see it. My head's in the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That appealed to me way too much, probably because of the wine. <laughs> I'm under hot lights. This is not a good thing. 
All right, let's keep going. Oh, I wanted to see Promo Republic pricing. They had a free product. No. This would be the closest to free. And which brings me to a point about social media management tools, whether it's for scheduling or monitoring or analytics or content curation or competitor analysis, whatever it is. Many of the tools do charge a small amount each month. This is $9 a month. And it's not so much, um, it's that they don't want to fill up their database with freebie users. And so I consider anything under $10 US a month to simply be gated. I kind of do this because I don't want 50 million people in my online school consuming a free course. I would rather have people in the school who might actually pay and commit to completing the course and things like that what I did discover was if it was too cheap people were like oh, I have to go through all these hoops of finding my credit card and putting it in for five dollars but monthly seems to work um, I have a number of people who don't mind paying nine or ten dollars a month my clients have a lot of people in that sort of area so what I would say is cold to lukewarm is a free tools, people using the free tools who sign up and then never come back. And I have a lot of those. I have at least a hundred bookmarked that I've signed up for free and then haven't investigated, but thought, oh, it's there one day in case my clients ask me to use that tool. So for $9 a month, you know, three social media accounts, a calendar and a quick library of content is not bad for Promo Republic. Um, I probably should mention for quite a few of these, in fact, for everything that I sign up for, I usually sign up for the affiliate program, but I'm not offering affiliate links. I just want you to just go off and find them yourself. The reason I sign up for the affiliate program in case somebody discovers that I've done that and they think that's why I'm promoting it is because I investigate how they work with affiliates and then how they work with influencers and the differences. It's not that I'm actually interested in the $2.50 that I'll get if somebody signs up. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, so you have Promo Republic and the others I'm all affiliates with too. What else do we have here? Uh, I do want to make the difference, point out the difference between curating um, other people's content, what we call OP or found media, and monitoring your own media and your own channel. So if all you ever do is monitor the comments on your Facebook page and the comments on your Twitter account and the mentions on your Twitter account and when you're tagged on LinkedIn and when you're tagged on Instagram and things like that, you're only monitoring part of a whole ecosystem. So I expect social media management tools to cover all of them. Let's see if there's any questions. Oh, thank you. So I got a little tiny smiley face from Anil and I appreciate that because everybody else is being really quiet and I suspect they're being quiet because it's Friday afternoon. They've probably got this on and then they're heading out the door um, to go off and have a real drink with real friends. For those of you that are not socially distancing or else they're rushing home to sit in front of Zoom with friends and family while having a glass of wine. If you watch this at some stage in the future or you're coming in late, two things. Don't let your future self get away with telling my future self off because these tools are either not available anymore or not free. Because this world changes so fast 
In fact, one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because I just had not kept up to date with who had free products, who had moved to free trials and who didn't have free at all anymore. So I needed to keep up to date with that. So yes, if tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, next decade, all of this stuff is out of date, that's why it's a free video. You get what you didn't pay for. <laughs> and I'm just saying that because I do get comments from time to time from people that five years in the future tell me off because something doesn't work anymore. I'm like, don't tell me, go tell Facebook or Instagram or whoever. Um, something else is I'd really like to, whenever you watch this, ask you, what social media management tools have you tried and what is your honest opinion of them for the function you were looking for? Because people ask me, what's your favorite social media tool? And I'm like, and they say, what, don't you have one? I'm like, I don't like any of them. And certainly none of them do all the things I need them to do, which means being able to bring in 200 blogs. I have to use Feedly for that, to bring in other people's Facebook accounts or bring in Instagram hashtags or bring in Twitter lists. If you create lists on Twitter, you know what I'm talking about. To bring all of that stuff in, I have to use Fetch RSS with an RSS reader. If I'm looking for analytics, none of them provide everything that I need. And certainly no more than maybe, you know, downloading the spreadsheets organically from the platforms do. Um, normally I'm looking for some kind of an AI or research background onto that. What else? Um... Some of them handle teams better than others do. <laughs> and so if you've got an intern who goes a bit crazy sometimes and you you want everything to stay in draft, you know, you'll have to find a tool that does that and maybe that's the only thing that it does. I want to be able to split up my audiences into segments and also analyse those segments and also bring in my campaigns and analyze those campaigns. And I didn't have time today to go through the tools that do that. And from memory, unless Brand Mentions has a free version, which I don't think they do. Um, yeah. I, if you're not sure what a campaign is, you know, putting up a post and measuring that post over time, usually there's a bit of a short head and then a long tail or or the other way around, it's a bit of activity and then it goes into a J curve, depending on whether it's going to be popular or not. With a campaign, I want to group everything together. We're building on a series to build awareness or whatever the goal is of the campaign and I need to be able to measure that as well. Also, some tools that you're looking for, free ones, need to have ad management built in. And... People ask a lot of a free tool. I don't. I tend to swan around. I'm a bit of a floozy. I will play with any of the free tools and see what they provide. And then ultimately I will pay for the tools that meet the best of my needs or most of my needs. Um, I haven't even touched on things like the WordPress API or anything like that. I... Discover, discovering content is an interesting one. I usually find they're very American focused. So what are the top hashtags? And then it ends up being American hashtags. Or what is the most popular content? And it ends up being popular in America. Uh, there's a few European ones, but there's not many in Australia. So it's much of a muchness. Today's not so much about which tool should you use. But it was for me to outline that there are different tools for different purpose and then to show you the ones that I could find that had a completely free tool, not a, not a, I keep wanting to say free, freemium, but I'm fine with freemium, but not a free trial. Really do not sign up and waste your time with any product that has less than 45 days. And if you absolutely have to, and I know a lot of them 
are either 15 or 30 days, go for the ones with 30 days. And the reason for that is you cannot judge at all in 15 days. The algorithm just won't let you. You won't be able to get a good idea about how this tool works on that platform in 15 days or 14 days or whatever it is. Let me just go back to the chat. All right, so um, I am aware of the fact that my tool doesn't bring in all, all the comments and I've discovered little comments here and there so I will check manually each platform at the end of this presentation and then give just comment back to you if you have commented and if you ask a question on this after we finish the live then I will answer it as well hey I'm doing pretty well Okay, I think half a glass is enough for me. Um, last thing. I have to say this to justify spending three quarters of an hour online. <clears throat> I have a two-day Facebook and Instagram course coming up in Sydney at the end of November. Bring your laptops. We will be socially distancing. You will be in your bubbles. So if there's two or three of you, you get to sit at a table but otherwise everybody will be separated. I'm booking a large, very large room, very large. And, um, oh, and obviously you can chat with me on Zoom, either in groups or, uh, um, I've, I've increased the single solo Zooms with me to doubles. So if you and a mate wanna share the booking, you can just a bit different than the stuff I'm doing for government and corporates, which is team and department based and things like that. Right. I think we've covered everything, everything I wanted to cover. Yeah. They're the tools that I came to mind immediately when I was thinking about all the different aspects. And I hope you enjoyed me waffling on during wine o'clock on a Friday and I might give this another shot, one more shot, maybe two, but I'm not sure how comfortable I am with the whole drinking and Zooming and teaching thing. It was a cute idea, who knows? All right, guys, I'm going to, I'm under a lot of lights here. I'm gonna love you and leave you, and uh, I hope you found that useful. <laughs> Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> All right, see you. Bye.